Black motherhood is determined, it's fierce, it's courageous, it's undaunting. I have six children. I had to do it for all of my births. It's important for there to be more black midwives and doulas of color because we can help to change the situation um, and affirm who the individual is and being able to see themselves. My name is Chanel Porsche Albert. I'm the founder and executive director of Ancient Song Doula Services. The name derived from my own birthing experience. I had my first child and uh, had a home birth. Uh, and during the experience, like they said, like, oh, you, you sound like you're making like an ancient sound, like an ancient song. I have attended over 100 plus births as a midwifery assistant or as a doula. This is a board of um, clients that I personally have assisted. A sister friend um, that I met um, a while ago um, gave me this card just to say thank you. Greetings, Chanel. Hope things are prospering for you. My apologies for being so late in life. has been a little hectic. We offer training so people can become doulas if they choose to and be able to support others within their communities. We are not midwives. We don't do anything medical. We offer emotional and physical support. And I will say for ancient song doulas, we offer advocacy. Um, and so we help the people that we serve make informed decisions about their care. We never tell them what to do, but we do provide you know, evidence-based information, but as well as like the holistic aspects of it and the Know Your Rights framework. So in the United States, African-American women are three to four times more likely to die of childbirth-related complications. Right underneath us is indigenous women. A lot of it stems from racism and the experience of racism. Um, I, you know, also the criminalization at bedside, the uh, perception of individuals and the, the narrative that has been driven into people's heads that you know black people don't feel pain the same way as others. What does it mean for an individual to be seen genuinely, to be heard and listened to? in a way that's affirming to them, and to be loved in a way where I'm not expecting anything from you. I just want you to know that somebody out there actually cares, you know, and a genuine, I don't wanna cry. <laughs> um, but someone actually genuinely cares about you. Every time someone is having a contraction, they're going within. So, uh, so it starts out like this. Slow, follow me. It get closer together and stronger. Oh! You have just birthed your baby, right? The midwife that I had, uh, she was very, she was kind of like a midwife and a doula at the same time. And the amount of care and support and like just connection that we had personally, like she would come to my house and she was just like out of this world amazing. After having an experience like that, I really wanted to help other women to have beautiful experiences like I had because it really just changes your relationship that you have with the baby. Just having that support of like someone that looks like you and speaks your language and has your background. Say if they're experiencing back labor, you're massaging, your hands will get tired. This will save your life. I did not have a doula with my first child, but I wish that I did have one. My birthing experience wasn't great. It was actually traumatic. The doctor actually broke my water, um, and then I was just left alone. All this water was just gushing out, and I was just like, it's still, like, this, I'm still leaking. Like, <laughs> so they didn't, not, nothing was explained to me, and that there was no compassion, to be honest. If I was a, a white woman in a hospital, I would have probably had more options. I think there would be more care. There's this, like, you know, thing that always points to, like, oh, but it's your fault that this is happening to you? You know, like, oh, well, but you're not healthy, so that's why this is happening, you know, and trying to dismiss the fact of, like, the social aspect of it and how people experience things. You know, like, it will come up like, oh, well, you know, these, you know, black women, they have chronic disease and they have diabetes and they have this. And, you know, I have to be like, no, nah, like, that's a reflection and, and that's an effect of something else that's going on. So you're, you're, you're blaming the, 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 the individual for the condition that they're in, but not looking at the system that created that in the first place. Doulas need to be incorporated more in the narrative of black families in particular because regardless of our socioeconomic status, <laughs> it still affects us. It doesn't matter our level of education, doesn't matter how much money you have, none of that matters because at the end of the day, this shows up first. 
You know, your melanation, that shows up first. That's what first, when people see you, that's the first thing they see. And so they already have preconceived notions about who you are, how you navigate the world. Um, the doula is there to be like, nah, and to kind of shut all of that down. What do we usually do when we, when we experience pain? Shut down. We shut down, right? Right, we tense up, we try to figure out ways to not feel and experience that pain anymore, right? I do this with my children. Mm -hmm. I want them to be safe. The only way that I can protect them is by educating others and trying to bring, to make people see the essence of humanity in one another. Because I know that I'm not gonna be with them all the time. And so it's important for me to know that they see me, they see the work that I do, they see the intentionality of the work that I do. And I know sometimes it takes me away from them where I don't get to spend a lot of time with them sometimes, but I, I want them to know that I love them and that, um, <clears throat> And I want them to know that other people do too. So that's why I do it. I supported an artist um, couple, so they couldn't necessarily pay like, you know, full price for services. So we did an exchange. So they paid what they could in cash and the rest, you know, they built, made this beautiful sign.